Okay, my favorite fruit is the Kitsune fruit in Blocks Fruit. But my goal is testing out every single fruit there is. And with the Dragon Fruit getting its new rework, I think it's time to actually finally test this fruit. So yeah, the Kitsune fruit is literally one of my most favorite devil fruits. It is just so good. Good base attacks, good abilities. You know, like, the visuals are amazing. So the Dragon Fruit really has something to live up to. So the Dragon Fruit I actually already had for a long time. I can't even remember when I last bought it. But my goal is, of course, trying out every single devil fruit there is. And we're almost done buying them all. But if I click equip on this Dragon Fruit, you can see I actually have never played this. I have 20. 26 mastery so this means we probably did a little bit of trying out with it so the big issue probably that i had with this dragon fruit is that the levels are not like 50 70 100 no it's one then 150 250 350 and of course 75 for the dragonfly so it's going to be a little bit more grindy than i normally have to do but i'm going to go ahead and go for that level 150 today because i have to see at least like a few of these abilities right and if you're wondering when are you finally going to level up i do plan on doing a noob to pro sitting for me going to like max level but i do want to go out and test out every single fruit myself and see which one i like the most and that way we're going to go ahead and level up to the max for now it's still the kitsune fruit as well of course i got you guys every single code there is in the game for today but it has to wait a little bit we first have to grind so teleporting home and we're in my favorite grinding place for now the whirlpool area i right, let's see what does the dragon fruit actually do does it have a basic attack it does not have one it definitely should get one with the rework or the addition of the awakened dragon fruit so let's give this a go for the first time oh okay that's a lot of animation for not a lot of damage but it is not too bad. The cooldown seems pretty decent, so... Okay, I can work with this. And there we go! Level 75 has been reached. This fruit would be so much better if I actually had two abilities to start off with. It is very, very, very tedious because it's... Two is not enough to finish off the enemy. So I have to do three heat wave beams, which is actually very annoying. And yeah, it is what it is, though. But we now have Dragonfly unlocked. Level 75. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Ooh, okay, we got some green dragon wings. You go where your mouse is at. That is pretty nice. It seems to be infinite flying. So that's, of course, always very good. I think that's one thing that the Kitsune fruit, I think, is missing. If I remember correctly, it doesn't have anything to really move about in the world. So this, of course, is very nice that you're able to fly and go everywhere. So that actually is a pretty good plus, to be honest, about this thing. Okay, guys, a little bit of change the scenery because I have thought of a different plan. So... Super simple. This boss right here is the highest boss I can defeat, but it's, well, it's the best mastery boss, according to YouTube, uh, for the first C. Uh, I do have myself the rubber fruit, which makes me immune to this boss. So what I'm planning on doing, I'm going to go ahead and defeat this boss almost 100% with the rubber fruit, swap to the dragon fruit, and then see if I get all the XP on there. Uh, maybe it's a bad idea, but this allows me to just AFK and defeat this boss, which should be nice. Okay, so the video lied. I am not immune with the rubber fruit. That's, uh, interesting. Okay, so apparently it was changed a long time ago that it doesn't work anymore. I just remember it from back in the day, okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna give it a go. I don't think I'm gonna be able to defeat this boss, but if I can defeat him once, you know, it will be nice. Okay, boom, first hit. Oh, wait, 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 he teleported, huh? Okay, wait, 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 okay. I gotta keep on, I gotta keep on moving. Okay. Okay, so he does use abilities as well, which I will have to dodge. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Why is he behind me again? Please, boss. Please, boss. I just want to get your mastery. You don't have to defeat me. It's all good. And wait for his ability. Okay, there we go. I think one more should do the trick. Who oh, is next to me? He teleported next to me. Okay. There we go. Boom. Huh? Only to 86? Yeah, we got the pole first form, but uh, getting like 10 levels for that. I don't know if it's even faster. Like, I saw that in the second seat, you get so much more mastery. 
But I think I'll just stick to grinding mobs, to be honest. I think it's a little bit faster. Yeah, I've defeated two mobs here. I'm getting a level every mob, so... I think I'll just stick to these mobs because the boss was a lot more annoying. If I do perish here, doesn't matter. I can just teleport back. It is going to be a lot better. Actually, this mob, this area is pretty good. Like, there's a lot of mobs here, so I'll definitely take it. While we are grinding, a fruit has been detected a thousand meters away. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can snag it up before someone else grabs it. That is always a big question, you know. Let's just fall down because we are at the top of the world. And let's see, we have to go this way? Okay, 800 more meters. So let's see what we can find. Hopefully it's not going to get grabbed up. I am in a server with quite a bit of players, so if anyone has the Fruit Detector Game Pass, they may be going for it as well. Okay, it's definitely on this island here, 100 meters left. Please let me be the first one, I want to grab it up. I wonder what it's going to be. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. It's over here, what did we get? We got ourselves a Spike Fruit. Okay, interesting. A lot of grinding later, we are level 147 and almost 148. So I think I want to end it off with one last boss. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. It uh, it took not that long. I think like this area definitely helped a lot compared to if I would have stayed in the fisherman area. So I will grind here. Uh, I just like the fisherman because it was open, a lot of mobs there, but there's even more here. So. Uh, I definitely just need to level up though like because if I get the second seed like that master in the boss is so much faster Like it was like one boss and you're in me like level 130 and uh, th Like thinking about how long it took me right now to get 147 I could have defeated like probably two bosses and got the same XP there So I definitely have to go ahead and get in there. I think that will be my next episode uh, Where I finally will just go ahead and bite the bullet and do a lot of training in this game and the last heatwave beam should be enough to take down the boss. Boom, there we go. Level 150. New skill finally available. Okay, so we have the heatwave beam. We have the dragon flight. And now we finally have the draconic claw. Let's see. Okay, you can charge it up. You can hold it. Huh? Is it a dash attack? Okay, I gotta redo this again. <laughs> it is a dash attack. Interesting. So, let's use it on that. Okay. Uh, It does burn damage, which is kind of nice. But the, the mob is still not defeated, though. And this actually moves you so much. It takes a long time. Okay. Yeah, that's not that great. So that seals the deal for me. We will go ahead and use the Kitsune Fruit instead to get myself up to the max level in Blocks Fruits. Of course, let me know which fruit you would use. Maybe Buddha and stuff is good as well because there are some fruits that make you invulnerable to mobs. But I really, really love this fruit. It's just so comfortable. Like, look at this. Like, I can just go ahead and auto attack. And these mobs are just dead. They can't touch me. It is just so, so nice. It auto locks in as well. Like, uh, the convenience of this fruit is just amazing in my opinion. But with that to round it up, I think it's time to give you guys every single code that exists in the world of blocks fruit. So if you guys are ready, of course, you can pause the video at any time. But let's get this started. I have a lot of codes, but it's always important to check if they're working or not. So let's just get going. So I'm just going to do them all in a row. So of course, good luck and pause the video if you have to.
And that's the last one, fight for fruit. So, and the final thing I want to do before we end up today's video is I do want to give away a free dragon fruit. So if you guys want to get yourselves one of them, what you have to do, you're going to have to like this video, subscribe if you're new, comment down below, hashtag dragon rework to get a mature review team. And that's everything you're going to have to do to enter to the giveaway. So, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy, hit that like button down below. Guys, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video. So, say you guys, take care, live by. Thanks so much for watching. And of course, as well, Take care, guys.